Okay, take it away. <laughs> Thanks, Leah, for the wonderful introduction. My name is Sarah Allman, and I would and I am loving to and be honored to be here. So thank you for having me. Aloha, I am Austin Landon. For those who don't know me, um, I'm the project coordinator for the group and Devin is the secretary. And we have two of our members on call with us, Timothy and Andrew Young. And we have a great show in, in hand today. And let's get the ball rolling. <laughs> so our next thing is, what is the all word and how it affects the, the disability community? Do you want to get started on that, Austin? Yeah, so um, this, why is the video important? Because uh, we want to ban the R word and um, resolve the labeling of the word. And uh, you want to play the movie to play the show before the questions or not? So, and also for me, it's important because we have to remove the remove the labels that, that have been put on us so, 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 so that way we can be able to be free from that word and be able to live our lives as equals. And, and so it affects the, the whole disability community because what happens if we're living on our own and someone calls you that, that, that word and it's really hurtful and it's painful to hear that word from from another friend or from or from a, a stranger or from in in like a, a teacher or a guardian maybe that can be really hurtful from them so moving down our um script we want to engage you guys in a questionnaire do you want to Austin, you can say the first question. Okay, one second. Um, how were you, okay, this is for the people on the call. How were you, um, what was your reaction when um, you got called the R word? Anybody want to share? I know there's plenty of uh, answers out there and stories, so who wants to go first? Go ahead, um, Colton. Mr. Colton. Uh, it kind of hurt, to be honest with you. I feel kind of rude. Um, Andrew? No. No. Okay. It's a bit emotional for him, so we can go on to a different person. It was emotional for me, too, so... Um, and it was uh, disrespectful as well. Mm -hmm. So, so let's move on to the second question. What was the challenge that you had to face regarding the all word? Well, for me, uh, it was not very easy because because it kind of puts you and the others down. It'd be like somebody says that to your team, kind of being rude that kind of way. Because mm -hmm. I thought some people are. Cool. You got something to say, Kyle? You... Uh, yeah. I have a question. Um, will you help the person to, to get up from the court? That's a that's a really good point, Kyle. Thank you for bringing that up. Thanks for bringing yeah. that up, Kyle. Mm -hmm. So, why is the video important? It's important because it brings awareness to those around us and to make sure that we are safe and to be heard. So why is it important to you, um, Austin? Leah, raise your hand. Oh yeah, go ahead, Leah. I have a question. Is it okay if I ask it now? Go right ahead. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I wonder if you can give us a, a little bit more background around why you created your video and just what, what was your inspiration to start thinking about this um, as a project? Want to take this one, Austin? Yes, because uh, we created this project because we wanted to spread awareness, not just for the Special Olympic community, but for the community around us. So regarding if you have a disability, don't call us the bad R word because the new one is respect. So we want to we want to give this to the government of Washington and everywhere to make sure that the word can be banned um, in Washington state and global wide. So and spread awareness too. So make sure to take the pledge as well to help eliminate the R word. Timothy. Um, an another reason I think we created the video was, um, our story impacts how far it goes mm -hmm. and it change it'll change, it'll, it'll change a lot for the better. Mm -hmm. I have a question here. Yes, go right ahead, Kyle, go right ahead. Um, we don't want no COVID for the Special Olympics. What's your question, Kyle? Uh, my question is, we don't want no more COVID for Special Olympics. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you mean, do you mean for, are you thinking about in-person Special Olympics? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> it, maybe at the maybe at the end of um, the presentation today we can um, answer more <laughs> questions or talk more about um, the winter season. Yeah. If there are any questions, yeah, well, let's talk about it at the end. Okay. Thanks. So, anyone have anything to add for before we play the video, like uh, questions or stories regarding the R word or um, what's on your mind about this topic? Mm -hmm. so. Oh, comments even too. Does anyone have any comments on the on the video before you play it? Yes, Colton, go right ahead. I think it's just straight up disrespectful. I mean, like, no easier to put it because it's kind of like it's it's kind of like if you got called out like at your job or something. Mm -hmm. Because that happens a lot of work, a lot of um, job discrimination because of different people, mm -hmm. a lot of mislabeling and stuff like that. That's a really good point, Colton. Thank you for bringing that up. Any other experiences or stories that people want to share? Leah yeah, had a question. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I do have a question. So you mentioned that you, um, part of your goal with your video is that this will call attention um, and bring awareness to some um, challenges that people face specifically around um, this language um, being disrespectful this way. So after you've um, kind of called attention to it and um, made sure people understand that this happens, what is your goal that people do from there? What is what is sort of the next step or um, or from this group? What would be your your goal? My goal is I need to pray for the staffs for the Olympics. Devin, you want to answer that question? <laughs> Um, it's, it's, we need to pray for the, the staff for the Special Olympics. Tyler, are you meeting with COVID? Yeah. yeah, I need to pray for them and you. I appreciate that. I think for everyone, making sure everyone is able to stay healthy. Um, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, let's talk more about um, COVID and in-person stuff. Okay. When we're wrapped well, up. After this presentation. I got it.
Okay, I'll say something. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we want we want to put this video together and um, for a good cause in the community, and uh, hopefully we can um, pronounce it to the the newscast. Like they can put it play it on Coma Four News, and. Um, spread awareness, like um, not just for our group, but for people everywhere. So all, um, and they can come back to us saying, hey, that group did it. And we appreciate the stories and things like that. So. Mm -hmm. and, and for next goals, I think we're going to discuss um, next goals at our, um, I think the leadership council meeting on January 25th. So and to get more information on that as well, moving yep. forward. So I have a question. It's not on the bulletin, but um, has anyone been called the uh, R word in public, like work-related wise? Okay. Um, do you want to play the video now? I, mean, no, I think Tim has his hand up. Uh, Corey, so Tim. Ahead, Tim. <laughs> One of the brothers that looked like twins. <laughs> yeah. um, when I was working at Wadwaves, I was called it, you know. Uh, how did that make you feel? It made me feel low. I got called when I was, I got called the R word, the bad one, when I was, uh, I was a car attendant and I was training this gentleman and um, next thing you know, he dropped the uh, R word and I was like, I had to keep the cool. And um, cause I, he was, he pointed his fingers at me and I knew exactly who I was. He was, uh, our chance is trying to come back in. And um, I got called it and it felt disrespectful. So. Well, in that situation, you could have gone to your boss and and, and, and stuff. Do I play the movie? I mean, the, <laughs> yep, the <yeah>. video now? <laughs> That's a good idea. So let's play the video. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. OK. Awesome. And will you give me a thumbs up if you can also hear it? I think it's quiet at first, though. Hey, Ariana, question for you. Can you remember a time when somebody called you the old R word? In gymnastics. How did that make you feel? Mad. What did it inspire you to do? Become a great special effects athlete. That you did, girlfriend. What would you say to people using the old R word today? That when you use it as respect. And that's the new R word is respect. Oh, perfect. I love it. Aloha. I am Austin Landon, and I'm a victim of bullying. I was used from people who I thought were my friends. Turns out, they were absolutely not. I was bullied in different settings. I was made fun of because I have a disability and the way I talk. I was called many names. I was not popularity or Mr. Popular in school. I learned that it's okay not to be popular, but just to be you and be yourself. Please ban the bullying and stop it and put a band on it worldwide. Peace. Hi, my name is Corey Dempsey, and I'd like to talk to you about what the R word has affected me. I was at school one day, and someone called me the R word, and I told my teacher, and she took care of it. You need to just spread the word, the N word. Thank you. Hello, everyone, in Special Olympics Washington in Washington State. My name's Jerry Holly. I'm a Special Olympics Virginia athlete. Global Messenger, Athlete of the Year for 2016, and a Special Olympics 
tech for our staff member with the Unifix Champion skills as their specialist for school data. So I'm here to talk to you about the Spread the Word Inclusion campaign, in which it is a very important campaign and how it means a lot for those who are with intellectual development to disabilities with IDD and everything. And it actually is very important to say that, one, inclusion is more important and so is respect talking about it. And it's important to talk about that stuff as well. And I think it's what the experience I've had with hearing the R word itself, it's been sort of a nice good one. I've said it as well, I'll admit to that. But at the same time, it's a negative connotation and it is very annoying. I actually had to correct my brother constantly using it and my sister when eventually I got on board with it and they finally understood that it was wrong to use it as well. And I think some people don't realize it is bad to use that term. And people still use it. I think they just shouldn't. And unfortunately, it's an outdated term, but it's a term that still relates to collaborate. It's like intellectual disabilities. Like That's a big thing, I think. But I'm more of someone who mentions like intellectual and developmental disabilities because that's who the realm of special needs support. So IDD is a more important thing to focus on along with IDD. So ID, but IDD is also important as well. And I just want to say, yes, it is very hard that still some people still use the R word and everything. It's also hard to imagine that folks still do it as well, but it's also hurtful towards a lot of people as well. And since its invention, since invitation since 2009, it's a very great campaign. I think becoming Spread the Word Inclusion campaign has become big. It's, this year's theme was an amazing one. It's also important also you should really listen to various our sources about the Spread the Word Inclusion campaign. But also listen to also panels about inclusion. Like, sounds like autism is sounds like an inclusion panel which I was on along with Storm Pummel who's one of the co-founders of the Spread the Word inclusion campaign so I just want to highly recommend you guys to listen for understanding so I hope you all are doing well and I hope you all you enjoy this video and thank you again for having me so until next time everyone bye everyone and fist pump boop boop bye and have a great rest of the day everyone bye everyone Hi everyone, my name is Jenny Adelman, and this is my poem for the impact of the R word. No one knows how your R word affects and impacts the disability community. The R word is a label that people see us as. They don't know how it feels to be in, in our skin. The R word cuts so deeply that that they don't see how it scars us. The R word damages our confidence, self-esteem, and how we see ourselves. The R word has no place in, in the disability community. Together, let's ban the R word. Thank you. Hi everyone. The impact of the R word has a, affects people with disabilities in the disability community because they haven't lived in our skin. The all word damages our self-esteem, self-worth, self-confidence. Have you seen the Superman or Supergirl? Their enemy is kryptonite and, and our enemy is the all word. With our fragile skin, the all word cuts so deep that we feel it bleed through our skin and it leaves a nasty scar together let's ban the old word thank you it was tim and i was called the r word in an elementary school by a girl who was in my class and i felt so low that's what the that's what the word does to you when you called it. And I was then called it again when I was in college by the instructor. And again, I, I felt so low. But if we can eliminate the R word, we can save a lot of people's lives because that word is not good. And there's been so many people that's been discriminated against by using that word. So if 
please pledge to end the R word. There will be a, um, a link at the end of this video. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Any feedback? <laughs> I I love the photo. Really great work putting that all together. You guys, um, for one, just really amazing work in terms of uh, the process and just pulling it all together and editing it and all of that was really impressive. But even more so, um, just the, um, you know, emotion and vulnerability that went into sharing your stories they're really powerful um and have a really strong impact so thank you guys for doing that and um really great work we also had one more closing question as well before we end the meeting so what was your biggest obstacle you had to to face in the disability community uh -huh. this is our closing question we need to, we need to fight back. I agree with that. We need to yeah. fight back because, because it hurts a lot of people, especially like people like Austin who've been bullied. I know how that feels. I got bullied once when I was in middle school because it's well, because when you're a new kid, you become the target easily. You just gotta find people to just be by your side. High school was a little better because I had a lot of friends in high school. So I wasn't really bullied much. So I know how you feel, Austin. We all, I've been there too. Yeah, I th uh, hopefully we can get this video to the, to um, put up. Um, sorry, I forgot what I was going to say. So this video should be sent to the governor of Washington. If they, if we want them to ban the R word and make the new word respect, I think that's the best one to do, or even put in a newspaper too. Well, that's, so, a, that's a really good idea. Yeah, definitely yeah. put it in the, in the newspaper and Make sure to get the word out to our news stations like Como, K5. Yep. Don't, 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 don't yeah. Like that. <laughs> yep. So. She's called yeah. really good. Any other feedback on the video or comments? Yes, Leah, you have your hand up. I had a question just about what you were just saying. Um, are you, is that, are those next steps that you guys are taking in your um, council to share with um, news sources and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely one. Yeah, so, we're yeah. gonna talk about it at our next meeting. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, well, and I'm I'm sure I, I will hear, but definitely I think this is a that's a really cool one to keep people updated on. So um, I'd love to think about ways that we can continue to share with these people on the call, but also just with everyone within Special Olympics. Timothy. <laughs> I know one of the challenging things through school was education. Um, when I went to school, they didn't have, you know, the, uh, it, was, it was a lot harder. So that, that would be awesome. Okay, referring to Timothy's um, response, when I was in high school, they should have, my, I hope they should have uh, have unified sports so I can be involved when I was in high school, so. Yes, Leah, you have your hand up. Do you think that there are, um, 
There are other maybe versions of the R word that not not necessarily words, but other things that might happen that have a similar impact. Um, I know in the video, bullying was mentioned um, or just sort of generally being disrespectful or being rude. Um, do you think there are other um, other things that fit into that category or do you see the R word as being um, kind of its own thing? Um, definitely you know, bully for sure. I mean, just I mean, just the general being called you all word and being disrespectful and bullying. So that was our main focus. Um, the R word yes. is lead to being um being a target. Like, if you're a bird flying in the air, you say, "Hey, there's the R word." That's being labeled and getting targeted from afar and from the um, pointing finger of that and being labeled, so, and target, so. And being in target is no fun because I have been there and it's not even fun. It's like uh, shooting an archery arrow at your target. That's not what we want, so um, I hope that's, I hope I'm saying the right thing, so. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Oh, comment, so feedback on the video, please. Give a holler. How can this group on the call um, learn more or get in touch with you if you if they have questions um, or any of that? Mm -hmm. If you have questions, um, email Devin and she'll forward the emails to me and. Now I'll give you my email um, in the yep. chat too, so that way you guys can um, email me with questions or opportunities. Please feel free to reach out to me. Because I know there's a lot of uh, questions out there, but if you're comfortable, we can talk it through the email and you know that sort of thing. So. Should have we should have athlete leadership cards. Yeah, big time. <laughs> what did you, did you say, Tim? We should have athlete leadership cards. Oh, definitely, yes. Oh, yeah. I will add that in my panel after this. Devin, Dead, uh, Dead, Devin's email, so. Yeah, so feel free if, if you have any questions regarding the video or any opportunities or feedback, um, feel free to email me. Or if you have ideas where you want this video to be shared, um, shared and presented at, so. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Um, Colton. Oh. It needs to, well, it needs to be spread to our community because, well, there's athletes like us, most like other areas that when they, that when people that, that were kind of bullied on me and like Austin, who are, who are targeted because we have disability, other people don't need to know about it because Sorry, kind of what you say, really um, Colton? Can you repeat what you said, please? Like, um, you know how, like, you mean, like, we're victims of bullying? Yeah. How do people have to go through that? Yeah. It kind of hurts, doesn't it? Because it, it kind of like when somebody says, like, some man you're back and you don't know about it. It hurt and it has. It cuts other, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's not cool. You can be targeted for like other reasons too. I mean, not just for the award, I mean, just in general. Yep. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, you have to. You have to, you have to watch your back. Mm -hmm. You never know when someone might say something. It can yeah, be anywhere. So. A spring event, anywhere. Mm -hmm. I appreciate what you said, Colson. Thank you. Um, yeah. You guys have anything else to add? 
Is it Colton? You're you're in Moses Lake. Okay. I'm actually like? in a, I'm, oh. I'm at Delo, Delo, well, I'm part of Delo, Moles Lake, Tri Cities, Spokane, those areas. We're all kind of, we're all about in the same area. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Odessa right now. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Well, maybe um, physical else? abuse too. Maybe. What are you sorry, Devin? Maybe like I mean, like being abusive and, and getting physical with people like us. And in the end, they say that would. That I'll tell you. Way of describing bullying, of course. I'll describe one part of that I got bullied is because. Uh, the, the, the fashion that, because everyone dresses different, I get that, but I got bullied because of my fashion and yeah, I, I got because of fashion, so. I was basically bullied because like, there's one kid in class that was, that was, that was bullying these um, students. So I stood to him because he was being kind of, um, not very nice. Hmm. Well, I got I got punched. Well, I got punched for it, but I I got I got punched pretty hard because he didn't like the fact that I was that I, that I stood to him. Um, thanks for sharing the stories and uh, any. Leah, Devin, Tim, Andrew, do you guys have anything to add? I don't really have anything at the top of my head right now. So not me. I'm I'm good on my end. So um we appreciate you guys joining us for this presentation. We hope you guys are inspired. Please share the video and um the link will be coming out to if you want to share the video soon. So, and you also have my email as well. So, make sure to feel free to email me with any questions or concerns. So, feel free to email me. I will be sure to send out the link once we have the final version of it. So, that'll be just a little bit, but I'll make sure to send it to this group. Cool. Thanks, Leah. Thank you. Have a good day. And then if if you guys are wrapped up, um, I just have one reminder I wanted to share. Um, this is the same, you can use the same link for uh, to come to resource fairs in the future. They're going to always be the third um, Tuesday of the month and um, we'll have a different topic each month. So they'll be pretty cool. Um, new um, athlete leaders for the most part presenting different topics each time. So. They'll be really fun um, and hope you guys can make it. I'll make sure to send out reminders for all of those. So cool. Thank Great. you, Leah. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. Your okay. Okay. Thanks so much. Everyone. Have a good Have evening. Good Friday. <laughs> oh, I, we're also recording. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll stop it. <laughs> <laughs>